I found an artificial intelligence website that will help you write winning Upwork cover letters. Jasper AI is so good that it will truly shock you, and I personally use it on a daily basis. As one of the top earning freelancers on all of Upwork, I've made over $830,000 since 2016. But most people don't know that it actually took me around three to four months to win my first job on Upwork. If Jasper AI had existed when I first started freelancing, then I would have won my my first job so much faster. So in this video, I'll be giving you a free Upwork cover letter template and showing you how to write a winning cover letter using Jasper AI. And if this video helps you, if you get value from it, all I ask is that you hit the like button on this video. Thank you all so much and let's get started with step one, create an account on Jasper AI. Okay, so go ahead and click on the first link down below in the description, which will take you to this page here. Now this is my affiliate link. So using it will give you 10,000 words for free. You don't have to use my link, but if you do, it will support the channel and you get 10,000 words for free. Next, you need to verify your email. Jasper will send you an email with a specific code. So grab the code, come back here and then paste it in. On this page, if you have your own business, you can enter details about it here. If you don't have your own business, it doesn't really matter what you put in here. Like for example, if you just wanna type in freelancer and then click continue, that's all you have to do. How do you plan to use Jasper? This really comes down to personal preference. For me, I would select blog post, social post, website content, and then other, and then click next. And then last step, just gonna make sure you're not a robot. You know, we don't want artificial intelligence robots, you know, trying to manipulate each other on here. So you gotta make sure you're not one. And from here, you can see the different paid plans, starter, boss mode, and business that are gonna be available to you after the free trial ends. If you wanna extend it and keep using Jasper like I do myself, these are the different plans that you can choose from. Now for me personally, I'm on the boss mode plan, but I pay monthly. I just like having the option to cancel if I wanted to for some reason, so that's why I go monthly. But for most of you, if you want to keep using Jasper after the five day free trial, then most of you are going to be fine with Starter. It's going to give you basically everything you need. I personally use boss mode because I use Jasper a lot. I use it for writing social media content, YouTube video outlines. I use it for a lot of things. So I found that Starter really didn't give me enough words that I needed per month. So I went ahead and upgraded to boss mode. And it also comes with other cool features as well, like Google Doc style editor. This is probably the best feature in boss mode because you can open basically a Google document that's within Jasper. And then you can use different templates to create the whole document. You can ask Jasper to do things for you. It's the most powerful tool that I've found within Jasper. So that's another reason why I choose to use boss mode. So for the purpose of this video, go ahead and do a free trial of boss mode because we're gonna be using that document editor when we create our Upwork cover letter. And to make sure that you don't get automatically billed, be sure to cancel your subscription before the five days end, just to make sure that you can't be automatically charged because some of these plans are expensive. However, I feel like Starter is pretty affordable for the you know average person. If this is helping you make money, then you know, you're know you basically paying $40 a month to have an assistant helping you write. In my opinion, it's definitely worth that, but you know not everyone can afford it. So if you just wanna do the free trial for this video, be sure to cancel it before the five days end or use a virtual debit card. Then after you get signed up, it'll bring you to this welcome page here. And as you can see, there's a lot more ways that you can get free credits. The only one that I have left is to create a blog post, which I plan to do. So under templates, we have a ton of things to choose from. A lot of different artificial intelligence templates. Again, we're gonna use some of these in this video when we start writing the cover letter. So let me quickly show you some of my favorites that I use a lot. Documents, again, this is something you can just type whatever you want into and ask Jasper to do something for you. I really like it. Content summarizer is good to summarize all your content based on bullet points. Content improver, you can take some type of content, maybe even just a paragraph, throw it in here and Jasper will improve the content for you. Basically rewriting it to make it more engaging, creative, or just based on whatever you pass into it. Explain it to a child. Now this one is one of my favorites. You can type in whatever you want here. Like say you have a paragraph that you feel like is kind of confusing. Maybe you have a run on sentences or maybe you just want it to sound better. You can paste your paragraph in here, give it a output grade level. 
I usually just do 12, like 12th grade. And then after you hit generate, it basically takes your content and makes it easier for the average person to read and understand as well. Paragraph generator. I love this one. If you have a sentence that you want to expand on, maybe you're stuck in writer's block, you can paste the sentence in that you're currently on, hit generate, and it generates like the rest of the paragraph for you. So those are the main ones that I use. I've also used the tweet machine template before. It generates some good content. Some of it needs to be worked on. Like for instance, if I come in here and let's type in, what do we want to tweet about? Freelancing, if I can type on Upwork, we'll leave the tone of voice you know, as, you can change this to whatever you want, but let's see, we'll do creative. I usually start out with one output, generate. And now here's a bunch of tweets that Jasper generated about Upwork. And as you can see, you can tell that a lot of these were generated by AI. So what I've done in the past is I'll just take, you know, some of the content it generates and then just modify it to fit my tone of voice and add my personality into it as well. And there's also templates for YouTube. For example, if we go to video titles, this is a way that you can generate video title ideas for some video that you're working on. So let's type in how to write cover letters on Upwork. We want to rank for Upwork cover letters and we'll do professional as the tone of voice. And now here's four video titles that Jasper created for us. And then for the document section, this is a part of boss mode. So if you're on the boss mode plan, then you can use the documents feature. This is great for blog posts or just any type of document that you want to make. So you don't have to jump around between a bunch of templates while you're creating a document that's maybe outside of Jasper. If you have boss mode, you can do it all directly within Jasper. So if we click on new document, you can see the different options. You can start free form with any template. This is basically like opening a blank word document or there's different workflows like blog post and even social media campaigns. In this video, when we get to the cover letter portion, we're gonna use start from scratch, freeform any template, and then we're gonna paste in my template and modify it around. So that's really the basics of Jasper. It's also important to note that the underlying AI model that powers Jasper was trained by reading about 10% of the published internet, I believe in 2019. So it's really powerful and it has a great understanding of how people write. And Jasper depends on human input. He was designed as a creative assistant and responds to you. So the better input that you give Jasper, the better results that he will give you. Okay, so now that you have an account on Jasper AI, we can move on to step two and download my free Upwork cover letter template. Down below in the video description, you will find a link that will bring you to this Notion page. So from here, we can copy the free Upwork cover letter template. And all we need to do from here is just save this page. Go ahead and bookmark it or save the link. Keep it open in a web browser tab, just so that when we get to the cover letter section, when we start writing it, we can come here and pull different pieces from the cover letter template. And if you scroll down, you can actually see it. Here's the cover letter template with the different sections broken out. This is the way that I love to write cover letters, breaking everything into sections. It makes it a lot easier to organize everything you're trying to get across to the client. And then if you scroll down further, you can see an actual Upwork cover letter. This one won me a job that I've made over $87,000 with on Upwork. I gave you the exact cover letter that I submitted and was able to win this job with it. So this is a great resource that you definitely need to bookmark so you can even come back to it and reference it, you know, in the future when you're done with this video and, you know, you're trying to improve your Upwork cover letters. Definitely be sure to save this page. Now that you have the cover letter template, we need to find a job on Upwork. And I'm going to approach this as a new freelancer and look for video editing jobs. I've never done this before, but I have a lot of experience editing videos for my channel. Okay, let's go ahead and search for YouTube video editor. So as you can see, this search returned 248 jobs just in the US. There's a lot of video editor jobs on Upwork. It's one of the best skills to develop in my opinion due to the creator economy and the growth of it. So there's a ton of opportunities. Now let's go ahead and pick out one of these jobs that we can write a cover letter for using Jasper AI. 
So here's one that I just found and I really like it a lot. Long-term YouTube video editor. Not only are they looking for a long-term video editor, they gave us a lot of great information. Their subscriber accounts also listed a link to their YouTube channel. I really like the details in this. This job was posted 16 hours ago. That's great because it's recent. It was last viewed by the client three hours ago which is also really great because this client is being active on the job. The proposal submitted 15 to 20, that's kind of high, but I really like everything else about this job, so we're gonna select it. So now let's go ahead and click apply now. We are now ready to move on to step four and customize the cover letter template using Jasper AI. Okay, so the first thing you do on any job before you go to write a cover letter is fully read the job description. So let's click on more and now fully read everything. You don't know how many freelancers skip this step, which doesn't make any sense because how are you going to write a really good cover letter if you didn't even read the job description fully? And some clients will even include a word or a phrase in their description and tell you to put that in your cover letter. That's how they weed out a lot of freelancers who just don't take the time to even read the job description before submitting a cover letter. So make sure fully read the job description. So after fully reading the job description, Let's scroll down. Now this is my rate for database administration jobs. I'm not going to include that on this proposal because it's pretty high, honestly, for a video editor. So, you know, let's assume that this is, again, this is my first video editing job that I'm trying to win. Let's start off with $35 an hour. Now, obviously you could charge more than this or less. You really need to do research to figure out what hourly rate to use. This is one that, you know, I just pulled from the top of my head, $35 an hour. It's kind of similar to where I started with SQL Server Database Administration. So just make sure that you do your research before you select a rate. And now we're finally ready to start writing the cover letter. Now we're actually gonna write this in Jasper AI and then paste it in. So what I'm going to do is scroll up here and leave the job description open so I can come back and reference it and pull from it. All right, so back in Jasper AI, let's click on Documents new document, free form, any template, start from scratch. And now we have a blank page to start writing on. And the first thing we're going to do is fill out all the information about the type of content we're writing. So in this first box, we need to describe what we're trying to write. Upwork cover letter for a YouTube video editor job tone of voice. So if you hover over this icon by tone of voice and click more, then you can see a lot of different examples. Funny, casual, excited, professional, Optimus Prime, Gary V. You can pretty much choose any tone of voice that you're looking for. Since this is a cover letter, we're going to use professional. And then keywords, pretty much any keyword that you want Jasper to focus on when writing the cover letter. I think for this, we'll just put video editor. Let's put YouTube in front of that actually. Something else that's very useful, if you click on this purple icon up here and then go to keyboard shortcuts, you can see all the keyboard shortcuts for the document editor. Write the next sentence, run a Jasper command. It's really useful to have these built straight into the editor because we all know, you know, keyboard shortcuts, if you don't use them frequently, you often forget them. I really like they built this in. Okay, so now let's type write an Upwork cover letter for a video sorry, YouTube video editor job. So with this sentence here, we're telling Jasper to do something. So let's do control enter. If you're on Windows, it's control enter. You can see control on PC. So control enter, Jasper highlights the text and here's the cover letter. Okay, let's go ahead and submit this on the Upwork job. Just kidding. A lot of this has to do with the fact I didn't really give Jasper a bunch of input, so I didn't even get a complete cover letter. But I just want to show you that you can do this. And dear hiring manager, I see this in Upwork cover letters all the time. Dear hiring manager, dear sir, dear whatever, dear whatever. If you're typing that, please stop doing it. If you don't know the person's name, just use hi, comma. You don't have to type dear hiring manager. It just sounds like you used a script or you copied this somewhere online. If you're doing this, stop. This first paragraph isn't horrible, but we're not gonna use it. We're going to use Jasper as an assistant to help us write. So let's go ahead and delete this. 
Now let's go to my Upwork cover letter template and copy the introduction. Okay, so here's the Notion template, cover letter introduction. Let's go ahead and copy it. Jump back over to Jasper, paste his plain text. As you can see, a lot of the formatting from Notion comes over. We just need to delete that. Okay, first step, hi, insert name of client. If you have the ability to find the client's first name, that's what you want to use. So back on the Upwork job, we can see that this is a new client. They don't have any work history. They have another open job, but there's no reviews from freelancers where we could find the name of them. However, if you read the job description fully, you can actually see their name right here. And if we open the YouTube channel or Instagram, let's open YouTube. Here we go. Here's the name of the client. So let's go ahead and copy her first name, jump back over to Jasper, and now let's insert the name. Paste as plain text. There we go. That's how you start off a cover letter if the name of the client is available to you. And you don't have to use an exclamation mark, you could also use a comma. And now we could just insert YouTube video editor right here using my template, and that would be a pretty good introduction paragraph. However, we're going for great, not pretty good. We're going to read the job description again and come up with something that's gonna grab their attention. So when looking at job descriptions on Upwork, the main thing that I ask myself every single time is what does the client want? When looking at this job description, I can tell you that they want a video editor who really knows YouTube, not just a video editor, but one who understands YouTube and can also create short form content. I can also tell that they're looking for someone who they can build a relationship with. They're looking for someone who they can work with long term and trust. Okay, let's go ahead and get rid of this introduction from the template. Let's try something different for this first line. Let's get right into what you care about. And for this next sentence, let's use Jasper AI. So let's tell Jasper to write a sentence about how I can edit videos specifically for YouTube with retention grabbing techniques. Now select that sentence. And if you remember some of the command shortcuts or keyboard shortcuts, we can use control enter. And basically when I hit control enter, it's going to execute this highlighted text that we have here. So this sentence is okay, but it's not good enough in my opinion. I'm looking for something different. Let's tell Jasper to rephrase the previous sentence with an emphatic tone and we can select this text here control enter okay this is way better i really like this so let's go ahead and delete this first part off and we'll delete this first sentence as well and completely replace it hi tarina let me quickly tell you why i'm the best youtube video editor for your job let's go ahead and change to this I understand that YouTube videos need to grab and hold viewers' attention, so I use a combination of creative and technical editing techniques to make sure the content reaches its full potential. I really like that. Now you can see it cut off right here. So Jasper sometimes based on the length of your output or just, um, you know, for no other reason that I can find, will stop sometimes mid-sentence. You can actually tell it to finish the sentence by typing it out, or if we look at keyboard shortcuts, write the next sentence, Command J. So we could go to the end of this right here and do Control J, and Jasper keeps writing. Now, I don't really want to keep this, so let's go ahead and delete everything after full potential. And let's also change the content to your content just makes it more personal, like I'm talking about her content rather than just content in general. So I feel pretty good about this intro, so we're gonna keep it. And as you can see, I didn't write anything on this intro except for Hi Tarina. The sentence I you know, actually wrote, we ended up using Jasper to completely change it. And that's the power of artificial intelligence. So let's go ahead and move on to the next section. One thing that I forgot to mention is that you can change the document title right here. Let's change this to video editor cover letter. Now let's jump back over to the cover letter template and copy the next section. Now this section is all about backing up what you said in the intro, showing the client that you can actually do the work. Now, assuming that you're a new freelancer on Upwork, you won't have any reviews or feedback yet, so we can just delete this off. 
Okay, let's start off by saying my videos have generated over 3.9, I think that's right, million views and gained over 104,000 subscribers. Now let's change specific to highly viewed videos to highly viewed videos that showcase the quality of my work and relate directly to your job post are attached below. So I'll just paste links to these for you. So let's tell Jasper to rephrase the content above in an emphatic, I like using this one, tone. Before we execute this, let's come up here and put in three asterisks. Now what this does, if you look at the short codes up here, it tells Jasper not to look beyond that point when writing out this command that we're telling Jasper to do. So rephrase the content above. Jasper will only rephrase this content. It doesn't go back and look at the introduction because we're already done with that. It's really cool. Make sure you look at these things over here, short codes, keyboard shortcuts, these come in handy. So let's go ahead and highlight the text, control enter. Okay, this looks pretty good, especially this first sentence. So let's definitely take this first sentence right here and swap it out. Okay, we need to delete this as well. So let's go ahead and just stick with this paragraph here. Now what I'm gonna do is grab a couple of YouTube videos and just paste the links right below. And it's important to be careful when you place any links in your cover letters or anywhere else on Upwork before the contract starts. Upwork is really strict about not taking communication off Upwork before the contract starts. That violates terms of service, so if I pasted a YouTube video here and let's say the client went to watch this video, they found my email address or Instagram, any type of social media account, and they contacted me off of Upwork before the contract started, that is a violation of terms of service and you can actually be suspended for that. So before you paste in a portfolio link, video, anything like that, just make sure that there's no way they can find contact information on that page. If you have an email address on that page, contact form or anything else, you have to get rid of it if you want to link that here. That's why creating a static portfolio webpage using something like Hostinger, link down below in the description, is such a great idea because there's no contact information on the web page and that doesn't violate terms of service. You can display your portfolio without contact information and not be at risk of being suspended. Okay, so now we can take the control here, cut it, and let's move it down below this section. So back on the cover letter template, prove your credibility is the next section we are going to skip that because we basically already did that in the last section. So let's go ahead and copy the next one, list what you can bring to the project, paste it in. Okay, now we need to read over the job description one more time and then list out what we can bring to the project. Think about things the client really wants from a freelancer, anything that can make you stand out. So let's delete this off, go to the next line. Let's do some bullet points. Let's say top notch video editing expertise in Adobe Premiere Pro and After Effects. Sound design and repair using Adobe Audition with plugins like D Room Pro and what's another one I use? And Waves Voice Centric. Let's look at the job description again. Okay, short form content. Definitely need to mention that. Let's say short form content editing, Instagram Reels, and TikTok. Let's go back up here do another line and say professional color grading using a vast variety of LUTs, vast variety of cinema grade. 
LUTs. And now let's add a couple of things that aren't really technical related. Understanding of what actually works on YouTube. And let's see, something from my other cover letter. We'll take these two lines here. I might use them. Let's do this. Let's delete this. Wants to help you reach the next level. 24 seven ultra reliable communication. A lot of people don't like to put that, but the fact is a lot of clients get left in the dark or just never know what's happening with a project unless they reach out to a freelancer. It should be your goal for the client to never have to reach out to you. They should always know what the project status is, what you're working on, where you're at in the project. If you do that, you're gonna have a great chance of getting a five-star review. And let's change this sentence. I don't really like how that sounds. Understanding of what actually works on YouTube and how, let's see, how to help you reach the next level. Okay, this section is complete. We don't really need Jasper AI here because these things are based on your experience, things you've learned. So you don't really want him to generate a bunch of random things for you unless you have writer's block and you just can't think of what to write here. But these are things related to your expertise, things you've learned. So you really need to come up with these on your own rather than having AI generate a bunch of random stuff for you. So let's go ahead and move this down. Now let's go back to the cover letter template and copy the next section. So another thing that I forgot to mention earlier is up here at the top, you can also enable Grammarly. So if you want to, you know, find any other type of issues in formatting or sentence structure, definitely enable that. So you can see here short form, it wants to put a dash in it. I guarantee it. Yep. So I'll go ahead and do that. And we'll skip this because I want to leave that in there. Now, this is one of the most important sections, if not the most important. I would argue that the introduction is the most important section because it grabs attention, but the call to action is the second most important section in your cover letter. You want the client to move forward in the next step with you instead of just going back and looking through and finding a different proposal. You want them to move forward with you. So this is the standard call to action that I pretty much always use on Upwork. Let's schedule a quick 10 minute introduction call so we can discuss your project in more detail and ensure that I will be the perfect fit. I have tomorrow open from and then I usually put some times in here. So for the sake of this video, let's just say tomorrow open from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now let's see if Jasper AI can write something better. And let's try the other option, the rephrase option here. Tomorrow between 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. EST is open on my calendar. I did like that. Tomorrow is open from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. EST on my calendar. So another thing you can do with boss mode is you can select power mode up here at the top and now you can select from tons of templates. So for this last sentence, let's go to content improver. Let's copy out the sentence, paste it in here. And for tone of voice, let's do friendly. Generate AI content. I'm flexible and more happy to accommodate your schedule. That's not too bad. So let's copy this last sentence or this last part after the comma if those times don't work for you just let me know what works best for you let's paste in this let's delete this off if those times don't work for you just let me know what works best so I can adjust my availability around yours. I like that, we're gonna keep that. Now the last part, questions for the call. What I do here, again, look over the job description again. You can probably see a theme here. Look at the job description tons of times when writing your proposal. It's gonna be way better if you do that. 
So what I do is look at the description again and just try to think of any other questions that I might have, which we can cover on the call. Doing that helps me out, but it also shows that I have a real interest in their project if I'm already thinking of questions that I have for them. Okay, so let's delete these off. Let's add a bullet point and say, what are your short term channel goals? What are your long term channel goals? Are there any channels that you want me to get editing inspiration from? And that's good. That's the only questions that I would have right now at this moment. So let's go back to the cover letter template. And then all we have now is the closing. That's it. So let's copy the closing, come back down here, paste it in. And that's it. We just wrote an entire cover letter using Jasper AI as our assistant. And I think it turned out a lot better using artificial intelligence to help us write it versus, you know, just writing it all myself, it would have taken so much longer. That's what I love about Jasper and other artificial intelligence tools. It's not the fact that it does everything for you. It's the fact that it helps you write so much faster and better as well. A lot of times I personally get stuck with writer's block where I just can't really think about how I want to take the next sentence or think of how I want to transition. And artificial intelligence is a phenomenal way to solve those problems. So let's go ahead and copy this entire thing, jump back over to Upwork. Let's go down to the cover letter, paste the cover letter in. Let's go up to the top, delete the headings off, remove the extra spaces. Now, unfortunately, Upwork doesn't keep the bullet points. So what I'm gonna do is just use some dashes. Let's space this in a little bit and do a dash, space this in four times. Do another dash. Let's bring this back. Let's delete this off. Remove the spaces. Put some more dashes in here. Delete this section off. And there we go. There's the proposal that we created using Jasper AI and all that we would have left to do is submit the proposal. Now, I feel great that I would actually get contacted by this client. Maybe not from my profile since, you know, my title is SQL Server Database Administrator. But if I had a video editing profile, this is a great cover letter that has a high chance of getting noticed by the client. And something else that's a little off topic, but not boost your proposal. Don't waste a bunch of connects here. If this bid is really high, just don't, just ignore it, just move on. Sometimes this gets so high, you're just literally throwing your connects away because clients really want to, to find the right freelancer. They don't care if you spend 20 connects to get your proposal at the top. They may see it, but if it's written poorly, constructed poorly, then it's not going to do you very much of anything other than you're just going to waste your connects. It's so much better to focus on writing better cover letters, better introductions, better hooks that capture the client's attention and giving examples of your work directly related to their job description than using boosted connects to boost a proposal that doesn't have a chance of even winning a job. Okay, so if you're a freelancer on Upwork, then I'm really excited to share something with you. We all know how difficult it is to keep track of earnings and fees on Upwork. The only way to currently find your total earnings is to download a CSV file and then summarize all the values together. So I decided to build Freelance Income Pro, the perfect tool for understanding your Upwork earnings in detail. The Power BI dashboard is easy to use and provides all the information you need in one place, giving you insight into your total earnings, fees, profit, and monthly earnings. It also comes with a detailed setup tutorial and free lifetime access to a support community on Circle where you can ask questions. To get the dashboard, click the link down below in the description and enter discount code FPLaunch to get 30% off. The dashboard will also be available to members of the Freelance Pro tier on my Patreon, which also comes with a private freelance Discord community as well. As always, thank you so much for being here. YouTube thinks you'll like this video next. Let's see if they're right. All I gotta do is flick my, flick my wrist, like a rat on the